Greetings fans of prominent battle results, knocked out citadels and superb skills. Today we'll show you two hot replays. Meet Johnny JR100 aboard Minotaur from the American server and Klein SK on Neptune from the European one. Both fights were so good that we decided to hold a battle of replays, a match between two Sea Smackdown heroes, Neptune versus Minotaur. The God of the Sea against the Warden of the Labyrinth. And to make the competition fair, we'll divide their match into rounds and determine the winner in each of them. Whoever wins more rounds will get the doubloons and the Sea Smackdown commemorative flag for the best replay of this episode. Let's start the first round with Neptune. The cruiser started her battle not alone, but together with Yogumo and Ibuki, one British and two Japanese ships. Now that's an explosive cocktail. The German Z-46 didn't think so and was punished. First blood. That's an excellent start. Two key areas are ours. We have more ships, and the score is 405 to 318 in our favor. The only disturbing thing was the weather forecast, which said a cyclone was coming. As for Minotaur, this British ship didn't receive any weather reports, so she started off with careful positional warfare. Our hero covertly sailed to key area B in the very center of the map deployed a smokescreen and began to deal damage to the unfortunate Missouri and Zhao. The damage counter showed a good sum, but the enemy team took the lead by points. 207 to 470. And we've got minus three in terms of ships. The total result is definitely disappointing. No doubt, Neptune wins this round because she's been a greater contributor to her team's success. But as always, the most interesting part is ahead. The second round began for Neptune exactly like the starting minutes for Minotaur. The cruiser approached the center of the map and hid in smoke. And then the traditional British hail of steel burst out. In just a couple of minutes, more than 40,000 damage was scored. But what's happening? Ships began to disappear one by one. Well, the weather forecast didn't lie. Wind, rain and poor visibility. Enemies should be engaged from a short range. Not the best thing for a British cruiser. While Neptune was wandering in the cyclone like a hedgehog in the fog, Minotaur decided to start selling tickets to Port Express. In her traditional style, the British ship set an ambush near the island. Where those two unfortunate fellows, Missouri and Zhao, were expected to pass by. As soon as the American battleship showed her bow, a shiver of hungry English torpedoes rushed to it. First ticket sold. However, there were too many torpedoes, and Missouri wasn't big enough to take them all. One torpedo had to go further for an extra meal, and she found the tasty side of Zhao. At the same time, Minotaur kept spraying the Japanese with AP shells. Second ticket sold. It's time to look for new clients. And here's one. Another Japanese, Mogami, didn't even have time to understand what happened when they held a one-way ticket to port in their hands. The third frag and devastating strike. However, the enemy is still in the lead by ships. An effective and very spectacular sequence from Minotaur. And the British 10 scores a well-earned victory in this round. What will Neptune say about this round three? A true Englishman doesn't care about rain. Our Neptune didn't even think about stopping regardless of the unfavorable weather conditions. An encounter with an enemy twin sister resulted in seven citadel hits and the second frag for our master of the sea. It's a pity that our hero received an unfortunate torpedo hit as a keepsake of this meeting. But all it did is stir up Neptune even more. In just a few minutes, the Brit turned four more ships into floating piles of scrap. First. Tirpitz was shot down from the smoke. Then Miyoko received a couple of citadel hits. 
For dessert, Neptune poured a generous helping of AP shells onto Japanese key and the Soviet Dmitry Donskoy, Kraken, Unleashed, Confederate, High Caliber, and Six Frags. But then New Orleans emerged from behind an island. Meanwhile, in the other battle, Minotaur decided to enlarge her awards collection as well. Enemy Edinburgh and Fletcher were happy to help them with it. Kind of. Result? Kraken unleashed. But the situation in battle became tense. We're still leading by points and own two key areas. But there are no allies left except for Atago. Two against four adversaries. Nope, make it three. Shimakaze sprang out from behind an island and literally handed our Minotaur the Confederate award on a silver platter. But our hero wasn't going to rest on their laurels. Trusting only their phenomenal intuition, the Brit again sets up a smokescreen right in the center of the map. And spots all three remaining enemy ships. Two battleships and destroyer Fletcher, the most dangerous of them. Minotaur is well aware of that. A couple of salvos, the seventh frag, and our Otago sinks. You are the last hope of your team, and the two battleships are heading directly to the smoke that conceals our hero. Are they the predator or prey now? We'll see in the final round. For now, both Brits score a well-deserved victory in this round for incredible performance and fantastic dedication. The score is even, 2-2. Neptune began the final round with precise hits on New Orleans. The seventh frag, suddenly. They also became the last hope of the team, but Neptune apparently didn't hear anything about that. And sinking Friedrich the Grosser added the eighth frag to their score. Only Bismarck and carrier Hiryu left. The Brit attacks the battleship, but the latter replies in kind and our hero gets a painful citadel hit. Instantly coming to their senses, Neptune realizes that if they perish now, their team will lose. One more repair team left, and no more smoke. We lead 915 against 661. It would be great to hide in the cyclone, but it treacherously weakens. We've got to run anyway. A little more than 9,000 HP left. A couple of hits from Bismarck and we're done. And the Hiryu's aircraft wouldn't mind having a piece of our hero. 972 against 700. AA guns work, and they do a good job. Aircraft drop like apples in the fall. A hit from Bismarck. Only 5,500 HP left. Two torpedo bomber squadrons go for a run. AA guns destroy one of them, but the second is going to attack. 996 against 736. 999. 1000. Survived. Injured. Escaped. And won. What a round. Minotaur's situation was way worse. Nowhere to run. Two enemy battleships approached the smoke where our Brit hid. The enemies were still considering our cruiser prey. But our hero thought otherwise. Like an enraged beast, the cruiser charged at Izumo, tube by tube torpedo launch. The second devastating strike. Now Alabama, the battleship fires at the cruiser. A citadel hit, but Minotaur is unstoppable. The cruiser gets closer. Torpedoes at point-blank range. The eighth frag. Victory. Again, both Brits were at their finest in this round, and both deserve to win in their battles and in our final round. Who will be at the top of our C Smackdown podium? The score by rounds is 3-3. Draw. Let's see the final numbers. They'll surely show us who's the best. First, damage caused. Minotaur is ahead of Neptune by 50,000. 279,000 against 229. 
However, Neptune got ahead of its senior colleague by the number of awards received. Six against five. By sunk ships, the score is nine against eight in favor of Minotaur. Finally, the most important thing. In terms of base experience, Minotaur also got ahead of Neptune, but only by 300 points. 3,400 against 3,100. Yes, the numbers say that it's Minotaur who prevailed in our competition, seeing how both Brits fought with similar determination and skill. We've decided that we'll have two winners. As a reward, the brave cruiser captains, Johnny JR100 and Klein SK, receive a commemorative flag, 2,500 doubloons each, and an army of fans and imitators. That's the spirit, well done. If you, my friends, do not agree with the draw and believe that one of our heroes is more deserving, participate in the poll, and the winner will receive an additional reward. And when you send me your replay, remember that you could be the next hero of C-Smackdown.